Huge thanks to Boxo Tools for sending us this toolkit, to Go Fast Don't Die for buying Silas's Ghost Engine, and to Sorathon Mini Bikes for making him his custom exhaust. And of course to Coleman Power Sports for sending Silas this new GK100 that we're gonna show you how to engine swap now. All right, buddy, what are we doing today? Um, putting that ghost engine onto this go-kart. All right, you ready to tear it apart? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's take these wheels off, okay? Okay. All right. Pull the pin. What? All right, you wanna take it off? Put it on the table. Uh, and this washer. Why is it black? It's got some grease in there. All right, pull it. There's gonna be a little key in there too. So pull it off and make sure we don't drop that key. What key? Right here. Right, put that all up here. <laughs> all right, same thing over here. Okay, can I do that? It's kind of hard. Kind of hard. No. Just bending this little pin. Where's this go? Alright, pull it straight off. Go, go, go. There you go. And the key. Cool. Alright, now we're gonna take this plastic cover off, buddy. Go get the number five Allen key from that bottom drawer. What does it say number five? Right here? Yep. Pull that one out. Alright. Just pull the cover off. Ta-da! Good job. Daddy, can I tell me your hand while I grease? No, I don't have any grease on my hands yet. Why? Because I've been making you do everything. Alright, so pull that master link out. There we go. Cool. You can take the chain off. Uh, now the other chain! Yep. Yep, pull that out. Ah, hold on, hold on. There's a little space here. Now can I take it? Yep, and then you take the chain off. Okay. We're gonna unplug the kill switch. Yep. Gotta take the plug off the kill switch before we pull the engine off. Isn't it off? Alright, now we're gonna pull the old engine. So we're gonna loosen these adjusters, 13 millimeter nuts on there, and then four bolts holding the engine in down here. They're all 10 millimeter. You hold it there. Yep. Okay, you go. Got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we got it. All right, engine should be free. <laughs> Did I get you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. 
Let's go. Now you gotta clean all that. You wanna get some rags? Yeah. Okay. Done. Yeah, all around there. Everything. You mean between? Mm hmm. Alright, so now we're gonna remove all this from the old engine and transfer it to the new engine. So we gotta loosen the clutch and then these three 10 millimeters and then six all millimeter right, so Allen. While you watch me unbolt all this stuff, I figured I'd explain why we keep the jack shaft on our engine swap. The jack shaft makes the gear ratio about eight to one, which makes the cart accelerate really hard and lets Silas do all the fun stuff that he likes to do, the donuts and drifts and burnouts. Uh, but keeps his top speed low, about 30 to 35 miles an hour, which is a lot safer for him and a lot more usable on our little backyard track. Uh, if we were to run the chain straight from the clutch to the rear gear, it'd be about a 5 to 1 gear ratio, which would make his top speed between 45 and 50 miles an hour. Uh, it would also reduce the acceleration that he has, so it would be less fun and just less safe. So if you're doing this swap for a kid, I'd definitely recommend keeping that jack shaft, uh, keeping them safe, and just let them learn car control. Alright, here's the ghost engine sitting in the frame and I'll kind of explain why I ended up using an adapter plate rather than just kind of bolting it down. You can get two bolts in the back just fine but to get the engine to sit where you need it to sit in the frame the front mounting points hang off of the plate that's already there. So I'm sure you could make something yourself to fix that but it seemed easy enough to buy this guy for $40 and it uh, sits right on top of there and kind of gives you that extra distance that you need and a ton of adjustability it'll still allow you to slide everything forward and back and left and right it helps aligning up the chains tightening the chains everything just a lot easier so that's why we use this guy So the jack shaft, this is what comes with all the Coleman, the little Coleman carts with the 98cc engines. If you look, if I, can, I don't know if it'll show it. So you can get a bolt to line up there and that bolt lines up there. There, you can kind of see it. There's a mounting hole there that lines up and that mounting hole there lines up. There's a fifth one up and behind here, right there, that you can drill a hole in. There's the two more up here. You can drill holes through this plate, get that all to line up, throw a clutch on there. You'll have to then pull these gears and shim them out with some washers just because of the way the three quarter inch shaft clutches fit. They're the gear sticks out a little further, so you've got to space this out to get everything to line up. We ran Silas's like that for probably a month before this cast piece split all the way down here. I'll probably add a picture of it where it split. So once that happened, I did this kind of smoothed out where it broke. Drilled some extra holes through it and then made this, and then made this mounting plate. These are hollowed out back here so I can adjust the chain tension between the clutch and the jack shaft gears. And then that, just mounts right on to the engine solid with all five flush mounting points. So that's what we'll be running. All right, so if we mount the adapter plate with the right edge of it lined up with the original engine mounting plate, that'll give us enough adjustability to kick it far 
to the right, the engine far to the right, to use the original jack shaft setup like Silas uses, or in the future we want to slide it all the way over and just run a straight clutch to the rear gear. It will give us both that adjustability. So that's different than I did his other cart because I wasn't concerned about not using the jack shaft. But it looks like if I drill my holes center of each of these, that'll give me equal adjustability forward and back and enough adjustability to the engine sitting almost to the far right, the gears and the jack shaft line up and about three quarters to the left, it'll line up with a straight clutch. All right, so just to show you, here's the jack shaft set up that mounted to the engine. Gears line up pretty good. And all right, so engine adapter plate in the same spot. Engine just shifted to the left. Now I can make a straight clutch lineup. All right, got the holes drilled. And then just make sure you put these, where am I? these rear two ones in before you mount this plate down because there's no way to get them up under there otherwise. All right, so now the bolts are loosely tightened. You can kind of see the forward and back adjustment you get now. Put some right in the middle. All right, you got it? What do I hit? Nothing, it's already going. Kind of looks like you got stepped on. All right, so now the engine's mounted up in there loosely, but I can still slide it left and right and forward and back. So we are working on getting a few of these jack shaft mounting plates manufactured. It's definitely the most difficult and time-consuming part of the process. Without the right tools, it can be a real pain. So we figured we'd make an option that you could just buy and install and make the process simpler. Um, so if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments. Alright, so we got that jack shaft plate mounted all up. Now we just got to slide the engine over to make... That line up. All right, so now I've got everything in place and lined up. We're gonna start cutting our chain. I definitely recommend getting a go-kart racing chain over say a chain you'd get at Tractor Supply. It's just gonna last longer. It's not gonna stretch out as quickly. But here I am using chain from Tractor Supply. I also recommend getting a good quality chain break. It's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of headache. And if your kid is anything like mine and rides as often as Silas does, you're gonna be doing this a lot. All right, chain, chain's all cut, put on. Now we just slide the engine back a little bit. I got a fire crystal! Get some tension. Daddy. Go. All right, did a couple things off camera. Wheels are back on, exhaust, throttle cable is hooked up, and ran the fuel line because I'm running a gas tank instead of a fuel pump. Uh, filled it with oil, put the air cleaner on, just little simple stuff.
have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.